We are very fortunate today that we have Ron Moffa and Sue Simmons, who are head of the vision program for Lake of the Woods Lions Club. We also have a visitor, Candy. Candid, I don't know your name. Candy Holiness. Yeah. Welcome, one and all, everyone. It's good to see you come back. If you haven't been here before, I welcome you. And if you have, I welcome you also. <laughs> Uh, we are very fortunate that Sue and Ron are going to give us uh, a brief description or long of what the vision program for the Lions here in the lake does, and they do a lot. And, but I will leave that up to them to explain to you. Uh, Ron is going to give you a brief description, <laughs> according to him, <laughs> of what he he is in charge of the equipment. This is one of them. And I think that it's very beneficial to the members of the Lake of the Woods, the residents particularly, and everything to know what the Lions does for vision and what they can help you with. Uh, also, this equipment, I understand, uh, is also available to people in Orange County. Anywhere in Orange County. Anywhere in Orange County. So if you do have a friend that lives outside of the lake and needs something like that, um, <coughs> uh, uh, Lake of the Woods Lions and let them know about that. Um, we're we're very fortunate. Look look at the group we have today. I'm really happy. So without further ado, it's your show. <laughs> okay, she said, I'm Ron Moffa with Lake of the Woods Alliance Club, and I hate public speaking. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> uh, this is a machine that we have. We have seven of them. <clears throat> uh, they're all old. Some are newer. Some are older. Uh, what they do is magnify whatever you put under them. As you can see, you've got a $100 bill down there. And all I have to do is go like that, and you can change it. It's called stretching a dollar. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you know, the Lincoln Woods Lions Club loans out medical equipment. Most people don't know that we also have low vision aids. We have seven of them. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. How well, many <laughs> are out on loan already? Uh, we have one out on loan so far. Yeah, uh, there's no charge for it. Uh, the way it works is you bring it to your house and set it up. And if you like it, fine. You can keep it as long as you need it. And once it's no longer needed, it's given back to the Lions Club. So you put, you put a book or something underneath Magazine, there. book, uh -huh. uh, newspaper, and you can blow it up as big as you want. Uh -huh. You can change it from white and black to black and white. Ron, if you put a one dollar bill there, will you blow it up again? <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> See how it's working. Yeah, this is, and you just bring it up as wide as you want. They're all different, so I have to acclimate myself to this one. Okay, there's the black and white. That's terrible. See any questions? Yes. Yeah. Are all seven of your loaners <coughs> machines like this? I know. They're similar. However, <laughs> some of them have the old-fashioned big screen like uh, the old TVs were. I see. Oh. Actually, two of them are that way, and the rest of them are, are like this. I do not have monitors for every one of them, but I can get monitors. Uh, simply get them from the Bologna building. Tell them I need them. <laughs> 
So what would you do? Put a book there, and then you, you don't have to take here. it out to turn the pages. You could just sit no, in front of it. You could move it around. And you sit in front of it and turn the pages. Right. Okay. And of course you can tilt the screen down so you can see. Ron, I is this it, is it the same? <laughs> is that the same process if somebody wants to get that as it is with the metal equipment? Whether they sign in the date that they get it in and then they sign in the date that they get it back? Right. Okay, I thought it'd be good for them to know that. And do you have any other things beside that? I think at one time you said that you had other things that. We uh, had other things. Okay. That's the danger of leaving things in an open room. Uh, they were in a uh, file cabinet, they're no longer there. These machines are locked up, so they're still around. Right. Someone turned these in, one of the buildings, and they sent them to me. I'm giving them to you. Okay. <laughs> and maybe you can tell the people how to use them. I have no idea. <laughs> these so usually are they're like binoculars. They're usually attached to the classes. Yes. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, right. Yeah. The and they the end up going on a wall of frames where we have many unusual pairs of glasses that we get in. Anything else? So, yes, I'm sorry. would you like to come up and talk about I guess the rest right. of the things we do? Uh, I guess it could. Thanks, Ron. Very good, Ron. Okay. Ron, you did a great job. I know how you like to talk. She wanted. I'm grateful that it came. I'm just as prepared here. I'm there. 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 I'm
send and put them back in a plastic bag and send them back. And then they send them out to uh, countries overseas. And I've been doing it since 2004. So uh, I've done a little bit of everything with sight and hearing. But for as far as for the sight part, i to put my glasses on so you see me. Uh, <laughs> the sight and hearing uh, is a large part of Lyons. You all know about Helen Keller and the, um, um, that she wanted us to be the Knights of, of Oh, forgotten what it is. Knights of the Blind. There we go. Knights of the Blind. So um, that's how it's all started, gotten started. And that was back in 1925. So over all these years, you can tell that um, all the different things we do. Okay, last year, our committee screened 40 adults and 1,180 students in the Orange, and we only do Orange County. Um, we have two different ways of screening. We have a small little camera that we call the spot. And we use that for the little kids, the preschoolers, the kindergartners. And we can use it for all, of, all adults, too, uh, to, for your vision. And uh, what it does is it measures the eyeball and can tell us if the person is nearsighted, farsighted, uh, has a lazy eye, or many other things. <laughs> Ron probably knows more than that. <laughs> He's the technical guy. I'm not. So uh, anything you want technical, ask him. <laughs> um, and it usually only takes it takes less than a minute usually to get the uh, the picture of the of the eyes, and uh, for the kids. And so we we say six months to ninety years old for being able to do it. But, uh, for the adults and for the kids that read well, we use our unit, which I'm sure you've seen, the sight and hearing unit around the area. And we have different machines in there. And for the kids, we use the sight and we use the hearing. And uh, the hearing, they go into a little booth and we, we find out that, what their hearing is. And with the sight, we actually can tell what, you know, if they need glasses or not. Um, for the adults, we use those same two if we're out doing uh, health fairs, and we also have a glaucoma machine, which tells whether you, you know, if you're borderline or need to be checked for the for uh, glaucoma. We always check to get somebody in that, and uh, it's really interesting. These little kids are so cute. They come in the next year. We've done it with the the Head Start, which are three and four year olds. It's usually the four year olds. And we catch them for uh, that they do have a problem. Their parents take them and get glasses. They come back the next year and say, see, see, see. <laughs> so, and we've even had some adults do that. So uh, we usually get at least one or two uh, that if they follow through, then they end up with glasses. <coughs> we also have for people who uh, can't afford glasses or the exams, uh, we do have a program, and Ron's in charge of that, uh, that you fill out a form, and if you, um, if your requirements are what, what we use, then um, we'll get you an eye exam and uh, glasses. And, um, the other thing that we do is RAM, which is called Regional... Regional... Oh, remote. Remote, area remote. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Remote Area Medical. And we go down to Wise, Virginia, which is down by the, way down. It takes us like six hours to get there. Ooh. It's in Virginia. And we do uh, um, vision and hearing screening for anyone who needs to, to have it done. And these are the people that don't have uh, uh, insurance, usually. We're there for three days. And we, um, we, we get a lot of people and there's a, most of them need glasses. They're either broken or they haven't had them for 15 years or, you know, something. And uh, we catch a lot of people with glaucoma for that one too. So, um, and they're so appreciative. I mean, they just can't say thank you enough. And that, that makes us want to come back next year. Yeah. You know? So uh, we do that in July. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Let's see. Uh, we only screen, we do not diagnose. We only screen. And then if you happen to have something in our uh, screening, then we'll send you on to a doctor or uh, what, whichever, and also for the, hear, uh, the hearing. 
September and October is our busiest times because that's when we do our schools. And that's, that's our busiest thing. But we do health fairs. Uh, we go to a, a church. We go to the Orange County Free Clinic uh, in Orange. And um, what else? I guess that's about it. Can you think of it? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. We, yeah, we, we used to do more places, but uh, the Lions have gotten, other Lions and other clubs have gotten, uh, the, like those Paul Cam, the little one, so that takes our people away, you know. So we do what we can. And we try to stay in our, well, we're supposed to stay in our own district and just work on that. So, but that's basically what we do, and we're busy uh, a lot. So if any of you, um, have a church or something that you'd like to have us, we'd like to have at least 20 to 30 people that we we uh, screen at a time, otherwise it's not worth the time to be able to get. Our unit is parked in, at Weir's Cave, which is on the other side of the mountain, it takes us two hours to get there, to get it, and bring it back, so, it, I mean, it's it's kind of a big thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes? When you go to Y, you say you only do screening, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, do you refer them to someone? That, no, we have, they have doctors. What RAM is, is they've got dentists, they've got doctors, they've got <coughs> nurses, they've got all, everything medical. The people that are there can get anything done, x-rays, they can get mammograms, they can get pap they can get All right, hop in. Uh, the eye doctor on Route 20, 2020 Vision, oh. Dr. Klopfer. She goes to RAM, okay. and she gives, when we screen someone and we say that they will need more help, we send it to her, and she <coughs> checks them, and if they need glasses, they make them right on the spot. Right. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's a really neat thing to go on that, that unit and watch them make those glasses. That's really neat. Yes? And, and just a <laughs> plug for 2020, if you're on Medicare, she actually will do a screening for your, your eyes and eye exam once a year, and she doesn't. She do, she absorbs the the differential between Medicare and, and the gap. She only just accepts the Medicare. Right? Yes, a lot of other vision uh, doctors that you're, there's a charge even if you're on Medicare. Mm -hmm. and the last I want to tell you about her because I went to her. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she examined my eyes, and what is so nice, she's so honest, she said, just go to the drugstore and get them there. <laughs> she knows you'll be back someday, right? <laughs> I will say she is very good. That's good. That's good. The Lions Club works with two eye doctors, <coughs> one outside the gate and 2020 vision. And the reason we're working with two is because we're referring up to 70 people a year wow. for glasses, and the Lions Club is paying for them. And whatever the difference is, the doctor would write off. Of course, if you got 70, that's a lot to write off. So we have two eye doctors. They're the only two in Orange County that will work with us. And as far as the uh, recycling center is concerned, we do 67,000 pairs of usable glasses a year. And they go all around the world. And Alex can tell you about it. His granddaughter was in Africa and saw him being given out. Now, 67,000 usable, we throw away quite a bit. Anything with scratches in the, in the middle of the lens or a broken ear, earpiece or nose piece, it has to be thrown away. We can't repair them. If it's a child's glasses, I will take the time to repair them. They're, they're hard to come by and we need them. Yeah. Uh, in the past, didn't the Lions have a, their van up in the parking lot at Lake of the Woods? Uh, yeah, 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 but the management here doesn't like us to do that. Right. Well, do you have plans to, to do any kind of like a weekend type thing for the residents here? When we've done that in the past, we've had maybe 10 people come, oh. and that's why we haven't done it. But okay. there's no reason why we couldn't try it again. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Was that for a drop-off? <laughs> Tell them what the, where the drop-off The drop-off uh, for eyeglasses is at the Holcomb building, at the Bologna building on Saturday mornings, uh -huh. uh, the pharmacy up on uh, Route 3, uh, Wilderness, Wilderness, Wilderness pharmacy. pharmacy, and there's a uh, 
Air Place also has one, but I don't remember which one it is. Okay. They call me when they got too many glasses. I go to pick them up. They have a little thing that's in the box. Mm -hmm. no, there are lots of places in Didn't you have one at the clubhouse? You used to? We used to, but I don't know if it's still okay. there. Uh, there's a lot of places in Orange County where you can drop them off. Uh, ironically, there's a eye doctor in Orange that will take the glasses in, but he will not take anyone I refer. He charges full price. Any other questions? All right. Thank you for listening to us. Well, one of the recycle classes is here. <coughs> And it's really saved my life. Um, with macular degeneration, you, you, you lose the central vision. And so I've gone to the drugstore, and I I went up to, as far as they have, I think it's three and a half, 3.5. These are fives. And one of the... Uh, one of the ladies that work at the Recycle Center on Tuesday with Joe, she said, ask Gail to try these. And I think that's about a year ago. And um, they work. But I'll pass them around and you can get an idea. We do get higher than fives. You do? Yes. Well, I'm a, I'm we had <laughs> there's, there's one woman that comes on Fridays and she does uh, Swedish weaving and it's very fine work and very, the whole Swedish weaving strong. club has six plus sixes. Oh, so really? You want to try and I supply them. Oh, you, you make them? No, I have. They're a little bit we have everything you could imagine. I have an eye doctor <laughs> come once a month to work with me. And he said, I see more glasses than he ever saw in small practice. <laughs> but we run uh, the recycling center Monday through Friday. It's different people on different days. I would like to thank Sue and Ron from the bottom of my heart for coming and educating us. And we'll be back. It's there. Call Ron. I won't give you the cell phone number. You don't have to do I can do that? Wow. Very strong. 540 406 Call me anytime. Are you in the directory? No. Oh, you're not. That's why I'm giving my number out now. Uh, since he gave me permission, I'll, I'll run it off and, and bring it at the next meeting. Also, I've done a lot of research. I don't do much anymore because my eyes are not as accommodating as they used to be. But I have um, flowers flyers over here on the table. Please help yourself to anyone that you would like. There's also brochures um, from the state of Virginia, the Department of the Blind and Visually Impaired. And I joined that. And it's very beneficial uh, to you. They come out and they assess you. And should you need um, help with glasses or anything. And there again, it depends on your financial uh, status, but they give you an occupational therapist that helps you along <coughs> until you are on your own for a while. Right now, I'm on my own, and I don't see Marilee that often, but I talk to her or I email her, or she emails me. But um, 
we did have uh, the mobility specialist come and she gave, gave us training on the uh, cane and they do, if you need a cane and your vision is really bad, they will uh, give you a, a cane. And what else? But if you, your eyes get worse and you're having more trouble doing things, then Meryl Lee will come back and help you. Uh, she does um, crafts. She tells you how to peel a cucumber. <laughs> whatever you're having trouble with at that time. And believe me, it's very, very, very beneficial. And uh, I suggest that, um, I think I probably have enough brochures over here if anyone would like to take one to help yourself. I have a question. My dad had macular degeneration, and he got, uh, I don't know if they still do it, you probably would know, uh, the Library of Congress has books on tape. They oh, do. yes, definitely. They do. I get them all the time. Oh, yes. He loved that, and, and you know, he, he wouldn't have to do anything, he just flip the postcard around and put it in the mail. And Absolutely. They, take it. they yeah. still do that? Yes, yes. they oh, do. Yes. Yeah. And they send out catalogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They also um, have magazines. I have one right now. I didn't even think to bring it, but I have one now. And they give you the tape rec They're special tapes. And they're not like any other cassette tapes. These are different. They fit strictly into this one a recorder. And I have one now. It's uh, They do the magazines, and they just take uh, excerpts from all of them. It can be Field and Stream. It can be Vogue. It can be... they. They choose which one is, they think their people will be interested in. And some of them have little short stories. Um, the books can go from what? 10 hour reading or to up to 29 or 30 hour reading. Yeah. And um, they're, they're very, it's very nice. 